you know, I started to do some research and then I thought about all the alcoholics in my family and I realized I really didn't need to do any research. Part of the reason I wanted to do it was that um, there are people in my family who, if they've had a couple of drinks, or even if they didn't, were so charming. And they would be charming and wonderful. They wouldn't have lampshades on their heads or anything like that. You know, it did free them to be more of themselves, just like Hildy says. I wanted to pay homage to that too. So you've been in so many projects that are near and dear to my heart over the years. And it was, it kind of took it for granted how you've been in so many key roles, but this is the first time in a long time that you have been like the lead and the central figure in a project like this. And it's funny, it's dramatic, but most of all, it feels real. It feels like a fully fleshed out character. What drew you to this project? Well, I think it's everything you're describing, you know, to, to have the chance to tell the story of an older woman from her point of view, who's also funny, uh, was just the greatest opportunity. I felt, it, I agree with you, it's been a long time since I had that kind of big, juicy leading role you know i haven't really thought about it until then but this was a great this was a great journey for me because i had to be totally out there and um i loved hildy she so good to hang out with her and you know between the face she puts up in the town and who you really get to see when she comes home after a long day and puts her feet up and opens a bottle of pinot noir and tells you how she's feeling about things. It's such a great combination of hildiness. Would you like to have a seat? Well, if we're really gonna do this, I need a drink. Oh what? my God. I'm kidding. And I think we really root for Hildy because she is so candid and she's so smart. And it's horrible to see someone so smart deluding themselves about their dependence on alcohol. And so, you know, we go down that road with her. It's almost like we're in the bar with her, hanging out and having a few drinks until we realize that maybe this is not the best way of supporting Hilda, you know? My family's lived in Wendover for almost 300 years. We have the beaches and the breezes and the best damn views on the North Shore of Boston. It's so beautiful. Frank, I've been calling you for days. There's a lawyer from Boston who's very interested in your waterfront lot. Do you ever answer your phone? No. And a lot of times in films and in TV shows, alcoholism is treated as such a dark subject. And you do get very serious moments here, but it's also, it starts out kind of playing it a little bit for laughs as we're going along with her, but it's very relatable. Did you do any kind of research or did you look for anything to try and inform that part? You know, I started to do some research and then I thought about all the alcoholics in my family and I realized I really didn't need to do any research. Part of the reason I wanted to do it was that um, there are people in my family who, if they've had a couple of drinks, or even if they didn't, were so charming. And they would be charming and wonderful. They wouldn't have lampshades on their heads or anything like that. You know, it did free them to be more of themselves, just like Hildy says. I wanted to pay homage to that too, because I think that's really valid and very important to Hildy. And it's at that point when she realizes that she can't keep doing that. Um, but I did want to show that it's true that alcohol, when we know this from COVID, two years of COVID, can be such a solace, can be such a comfort, can, can free the person inside of you to relax. And, and um, I think that's, that's a big part of the story for me. My daughters would freak if they could see me right now. Don't they want you to be happy? My ex-husband left me for a man, and I went to rehab. A gay husband will do that to you. Cheers to that. And reuniting with Kevin Klein, I mean, every project you've done with him has been different. I love Dave so much. What was it like working with him again? Well, we, you know, we just picked up right where we left off. You know, he's such an amazing actor, and he makes a Frank that's so authentic and you know, such a good guy, but, you know, a good guy who doesn't care what people think about him, just a breath of fresh air. And I think it's so important for Hildy, who does care what people think about her, to be around this guy. And, um, you know, it's one of these love stories that's not gooey because 
the love between them seems very real and based on real stuff. And um, so it's always great to do a love story with Kevin, but this one is really close to my heart. 